Oh, come on. What are the odds of that? <laughs> Sorry, but those aren't the kinds of odds that we're talking about. Today, we're talking about whether something will or won't happen in the future. But to do that, we're going to need a little bit of help. This is the scale that's going to measure every one of our phrases. It ranges from 0%, meaning it's never going to happen, up to 100% meaning it's definitely going to happen. But first, let's take a look at the basic expression. The odds are. The odds are it'll rain tomorrow. Which means it will probably rain. So if we go to our scale, our basic expression, the odds are, is about a 70%. It is likely. It will probably happen. The odds are, I'll forget to do my homework. The odds are, I won't get a job soon. Meaning, I probably will forget to do my homework, and I probably won't get a job soon. Pretty easy, right? So now, let's take this to the next level. The odds are slim that I will ever go back to Germany. In other words, it is very unlikely that I will go back to Germany. It's possible, but it's very unlikely. There is a very slim chance. And you can remember this because slim people have very slim waists. Slim waist, slim chance. Slim waist, slim chance. The odds are low that I'll get a PhD, which means it is unlikely that I'll get a PhD. So as you can see, if the odds are low, your chances are not good, but they could be less. The odds are the TV will go on sale soon, meaning it is likely, good job, it is likely that the TV will go on sale soon. And the last one, the odds are good that we will see Mike at the concert. In other words, it is very likely to see Mike at the concert. It's not guaranteed, it's not definite, but if you were to bet on it, I would bet on it. Now, of course, language is not math, okay? This scale is just something to look at while you learn. And these expressions are flexible. And what I mean is, by adding the word really, you can make them stronger. Or, by adding the word pretty, you can make them weaker. For example, the odds are pretty slim. Well, I'd put that somewhere around here. The odds are really slim. I'd put that way down here. The odds are pretty good that she's right. Up here. The odds are really good that she's right. Way up here. Again, language is not mathematics, and actions are really difficult to label with a number. This is just a way to tell the other person, look, I think it's going to happen, or Mm, it's probably not going to happen. And of course, it's okay to guess. So far, so good? Great. 
Now, you can also use this phrase to talk about success. For example, the odds are in your favor, which means you are likely to win. Or the odds are stacked against you, meaning you are likely to lose. With this one, you can really imagine weights being stacked doo -doo -doo, on a scale against you. In this lesson, we've only studied the phrase, the odds are. However, the key word, odds, is used in many different expressions with many different meanings. In fact, there's so many that I can't even begin to talk about them all. So, my advice to you is to do a little bit of this, a little bit of this, and check them out because they are really, really useful. All right, guys, that's it for this lesson. As always, yeah, all right. Woo! If you like this lesson and you want to learn more, check out Next Level English at the website below. And as always, please like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Hi guys, that's it for the free portion of this video lesson. I hope you've liked it. I hope you've learned from it. And if you want to see more, please check out my video course at the link below. Right now, we're offering a 50% off discount for all new students. In the course, we learn lots of useful new expressions, sentence patterns, techniques, all of the things that will make you sound like a native speaker. Also, we've got 100% original material, homework, exercises, podcasts, pronunciation guide. There is so much. I can't even talk about it in this short video. So check it out. And if always, like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you next time.